Every testing lab operator wants their test sieves in service as long as possible. And that means those test sieves must continue to meet their applicable standards. Eventually though, wire cloth stretches and sags, tears occur, and abrasive materials reduces wire diameter. An in-house performance testing schedule for working test sieves can help you identify when it's time to replace your test sieve and ensure consistency for multiple sets of test sieves or part of a quality control quality assurance program. The first step is to create a dedicated master reference set of inspection or calibration grade test sieves. The master set will serve as the basis for performance testing of working sieves and are not to be used as day-to-day -day operational test sieves. Following the recommendations for user prepared materials in ASDM E2427, the master set is performance tested using a properly acquired representative sample or standard reference materials. Results can then be compared to results from the same performance test on working sieves to determine the accuracy of the working sieve. Establishing a routine performance testing schedule for working test sieves to the master set allow you to detect the point when the day-to-day -day working sieves no longer meet the specifications required, thereby preventing test results that are not accurate. Over time, continued checks will reveal an increased variation from the initial performance testing to the master sieve. Most quality control programs accept variations ranging from 1 to 3 percent from the master sieve. The initial comparison may show that the working number 10 sieve deviated from the performance results of the master number 10 sieve by 1.5%. But over time that deviation increased to 3.5% where you may decide the working sieve is no longer acceptable for use. Following accepted sample dividing practices, split a representative sample into equal portions. One or more portions for the working sieves and one for the master set sieves. Process one sample portion through the master set and record the test results. Process a remaining portion through the working set and record those results. Be sure to identify each working test sieve by recording the serial number, size, and type of sieve. Now compare the results of the working sieve to the master set. Record the variation and indicate whether the test sieve is good to go or needs replacing. Remember, when evaluating the performance between sieve stacks, it is important that the sieves are always evaluated together as a complete stack. Be sure to record and reference the serial number of each sieve in the stack before any comparison testing is done. User prepared materials are non-standard and therefore not directly traceable to any source. Consequently, performance test results may be more difficult to duplicate and verify during re-evaluations. NISD traceable standard reference material or White House sieve standards are precisely sized glass beads or powders used to performance test sieves. Although relatively expensive, Standard reference material can be an invaluable tool in your quality control toolbox when comparing working sieves and the master set. Your commitment to a quality control program with scheduled sieve performance testing will provide a reliable measure and record of a test sieve's compliance to ASDM or ISO standards. For any questions about setting up a quality control program in your materials testing lab or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.